In the previous section, we have seen proof using sequence of logical arguments. Now in this section, we will see proof using mathematical induction or simply induction. The point to be noted is induction is to be used in conjunction with natural numbers n or the whole numbers which means n including 0. Here we have a question that y1 is equal to 6 and for each n element of capital N define yn plus 1 is equal to 2yn minus 6 by 3. A. Use induction to prove that the sequence satisfy yn greater than minus 6 for all n element of n. B. Use another induction argument to show that the sequence y1, y2, y3, etc. is decreasing. Now, here as we have a n associated with the question, we will use uh, induction arguments. So, first thing you have to show that yn is greater than minus 6 for all n element of capital N. While using the principle of mathematical induction to prove a result, we will first uh, show that the result is true for n is equal to 1. Then we will assume that uh, it is true for n and prove that it is true for n plus 1. So here, first we have to check whether the result is true for n is equal to 1. So n is equal to 1. We have y1, it is given in the question as y1 is equal to 6. So which is clearly greater than minus 6. And this proves the base case, that means the first case. Now, we want to show that if we have yn greater than minus 6, then it follows that yn plus 1 is greater than minus 6. So, we will assume that yn is greater than minus 6. Now yn plus 1 from here is 2yn minus 6 by 3. So from yn we have to derive yn plus 1. So for that first what we do is that we multiply both sides of this inequality with 2 by 3. You, you understand the reason why because we have a 2 by 3 associated with yn in yn plus 1. So multiplying with 2 by 3 both sides, you will get 2 by 3 yn is greater than 2 by 3 into minus 6. 2 by 3 into minus 6 is minus 4. Now what we do is that look at the next term in yn. The second term in yn is minus 6 by 3. Minus 6 by 3 means minus 2. So what we will do is that we will subtract 2 from both sides of this inequality. So we will get 2 by 3 yn minus 2 is greater than on the right side we have minus 4. So minus 4 minus 2. Now when you simplify this you will get 2 yn minus 6 by 3 is greater than this is minus 6. And on the left side 2 yn minus 6 by 3 is yn plus 1. So you will get yn plus 1 is greater than minus 6. So we got that whenever yn is greater than minus 6, yn plus 1 is greater than minus 6. Hence, by mathematical induction, the claim is proved for all n element of capital N. Now, the B part of the question is to show that the sequence y1, y2, y3, etc. is decreasing. That means you have to show that y1 is greater than or equal to y2, is greater than or equal to y3, etc. So, to we prove this using the method of mathematical induction. So, first we shall prove that y1 is greater than or equal to y2. Remember, in the question you, was, you were given y1 is equal to 6 and uh, yn plus 1 equal to 
2yn minus 6 whole divided by 3. Now to find y2 just put n is equal to 1 here. So when you put n is equal to 1 you will get y2 is equal to 2. This will become y1. y1 is 6 so 2 into 6 minus 6 by 3. So 2 into 6 is 12, 12 minus 6 is uh, 6, 6 by 3 is 2. So y1 is 6, y2 is 2. So you can clearly uh, see that y1 is greater than y2, which pro proves the result for uh, n is equal to 1. So y1 is equal to 6, which is greater than 2, which is y2. So this proves the base case. Now we will assume that the result is true for n. That means we will assume that yn is greater than or equal to yn plus 1. And we will show that it is true for n plus 1. That means we will show that yn plus 1 is greater than or equal to yn plus 2. We will start by assuming that yn is greater than or equal to yn plus 1. So remember the rule for yn plus 1 is uh, 2yn minus 6 by 3. So along with yn you have a 2 by 3. So we will be multiplying with 2 by 3 both sides. This will give you 2 by 3 yn greater than or equal to 2 by 3 yn plus 1. And uh, here the second term in yn plus 1 is minus 6 by 3 which is minus 2. So we will be subtracting 2 from both sides of this inequality. So you'll get 2 by 3 yn minus 2 is greater than or equal to 2 by 3 yn plus 1 minus 2. And here when you simplify this you will get 2 yn minus 6 by 3 greater than or equal to on the right side also you will get 2 yn plus 1 minus 6 by now you can see by the definition of yn plus 1, this is yn plus 1 on the left side and this is yn plus 2 on the right side. So you'll get yn plus 1 greater than or equal to yn plus 2. So we can say that by the principle of induction, the result is proved for all n element of set of natural numbers. Here we have another question. Show that how induction can be used to conclude that a1 union a2 union etc union a n the whole complement equal to a1 complement intersection a2 complement intersection etc a n complement for any finite n element of capital N. As a first case you have to show that a1 union a2 the whole complement is equal to a1 complement union A2 complement. So this is what you have to show as a first case. By De Morgan's law, we have uh, A union B, the whole complement equal to A complement intersection B complement. What we do is we replace A with uh, A1 and uh, B with A2. So we will get A1 union a2 the whole complement is equal to A1 complement intersection B1 complement which proves the base case. Now what we do is that we will assume that the result is true for N that means we will assume that A1 union A2 union etc union AN the whole complement is equal to a1 complement intersection, A2 complement intersection, etc. intersection, AN complement. And we will show that A1 union, A2 union, A3 union, etc. AN plus 1, the whole complement is equal to A1 complement intersection, A2 complement intersection, etc. AN plus 1 complement. Our assumption is A1 union, A2 union, etc. AN, the whole complement is equal to A1 complement intersection, A2 complement intersection etc intersection a n complement we will mark it as equation number one now we will take this a1 union a2 union etc a n plus one complement 
Now since it satisfies the associative property of sets, we can write a1 union a2 union etc. a n plus 1 as a1 union a2 union etc. union a n union a n plus 1. So the whole complement of this will become the whole complement here. Now take this a1 union a2 union etc. a union a n as a and a n plus 1 as b. Then you can see that this is a union b the whole complement and as per the de Morgan's law you can write it as a complement intersection b complement a complement means a1 a union a2 union etc a n the whole complement intersection b complement means a n plus 1 complement now from our assumption that means from equation number 1 a1 union a2 union etc union a n complement can be written as a1 complement intersection a2 complement intersection etc a n complement so replacing this using equation number one we will get this is equal to a1 complement intersection a2 complement intersection etc intersection a n complement intersection a n plus one complement now again using the associative loop you can take all this together so you'll get a1 complement intersection a2 complement intersection etc a n complement intersection a n plus 1 complement this can be taken together by the using the associative load for sets so this proves our result and hence by the principle of mathematical induction the result is true for all n element of capital n